change of plans. Why is it always a change of plans? So today we were going to be doing Rabbit Creek as an out and back. We get all the way to the trailhead. We took it over out, well, no, about an hour to get here, stuck in Keats Cove traffic. I was telling Retriever how excited I was because this is the last time I have to come to Cades Cove. This is the last trail I have in Cades Cove that I have to knock out. Super duper excited. And we're leaving because I did not even think at all to check for trail closures. And apparently since August, Rabbit Creek Trail has been closed due to a fire. There were signs posted at the trailhead. I have nothing left over here to finish. So it's not even like we could hop on another trail and knock out something for me. I mean, yeah, we could have stayed over here and done a little bit for Retriever. No, no, we don't want to have. There's no room, yeah. But, I mean, he would have had to repeat something again anyway. Rabbit Creek. Rabbit. Bunny ears. What a dork. <laughs> So now we're heading over to the North Carolina side. It's going to take us forever to get there because, like I said, we're in Cades Cove. And so we'll let you know what we do once we end up getting over there. <laughs> so good morning. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> we'll take it and we'll, we'll have a good day still. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we finally got to a trail. Finally! We are at Porter's Creek. We just got to the junction with Brushy Mountain, so we've already done a mile on the trail. 2.7 more to the end. Um, that's, I just need this 2.7 to complete this trail. And then, uh, I don't know if we're going to do anything else after this, because we got almost a noon start. Um, the drive out of Cades Cove and then all the way to Greenbrier was almost a two hour drive. It was so long. And then unfortunately we got reception. Uh, there was a message and we got some bad news that kind of put a damper on our entire trip. So really kind of sucks. But we're still doing it. We're out here. We're going to make the most of our trip as we can. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, so, don't know what's happening the rest of today or tomorrow or the rest of the trip. I don't know. But we'll fill you in as soon as we know. But until then, just join us on the Porter's Creek Trail. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, my God. I don't... We're so lucky we have two gorgeous weather days. And the fall colors are amazing. Yeah, the fall colors on this trail are all like yellow and golden. There's no reds, <laughs> but the yellow is really nice. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And the whole trail ground is covered with the yellow leaves. Yeah, right. it's a beautiful trail. Catch you further up it. <laughs> yeah. Well guys, this is the biggest far away tree I've ever seen in my life. Look at those colors. Stunning. And Retriever's gonna stand by it so you can just see how just how big this is. That is that not insane? Look, it goes all the way up there. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, it's completely hollow. Hollow. Let me see if I can. Oh, I don't know if my camera. Will... Yeah, it shows. I mean, look at that. Next, you're gonna stick my camera up there and see if you guys can <laughs> see what it looks like up top, because I don't know and I don't want to go in it to find out. I have no idea what we just saw up there. I guess I'll find out when I review this video back. Probably just blackness. <laughs> but that was really, really cool. We made it to the campsite. We are here, so I have officially completed another trail off my map. Congrats. And thank you. And so did he. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah, and I completely forgot to tell you guys so when we finally got out of the park and I got service, I checked the Smokies website to find out what trail closures there were because we didn't want to come out this way and these trails are closed. Well, first of all, I'm glad we checked because one of the trails we were going to do the day we were leaving was Ramsey Cascade. Just found out it is closed for trail work from Monday through Thursdays. And we would be there Thursday. So, glad we checked. However, now this is the part that just really chaps my behind. Is when we got reception and I was checking the closed trails. Rabbit Creek is not closed. I think the uh, rangers forgot to take that sign down. It is not closed per the Smoky Mountains website. And it also listed that campsites 14, 15, and 16 were all closed. And I went to, it, by the way, it only shows 14 is closed on their website, not 15 and 16, which are on Rabbit's Creek Trail. So I went ahead and went to their backcountry website to see if I could book it, like just pretend I was booking it. Both of them are available for booking, which... Oh, I didn't know you did that. I did. Oh, wow. Which means Rabbit Creek truly was open. So they just forgot to take down the sign. Yeah. That's a closed trailer. Because it said it was closed due to the fire. However, the website did show due to the fire, Hannah Mountain Trail is closed right now, but not Rabbit Creek. So we woke up to crack of dawn to leave to drive to Cades Cove. Took an hour to drive to Cades Cove, only to think the trail was closed. Then to take almost two hours to drive all the way out of Cades Cove back to the Greenbrier area to hike this trail been one of those days yeah and then we get bad news in between <laughs> so you know what kind of over today you over today i'm over today yep although i do gotta say it is gorgeous out here i mean if we're having a bad day let it be out here because it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous yeah weather's well, gotta be upper 70s blue skies perfect no winds just great i mean it's hard to be sad down whatever angry when you're in the mountains when you're in the smokies it's just great so we're gonna just Sorry. have some snacks here we're gonna have some snacks and then we're gonna hike back down and we'll depending see what we'll do from there yeah depending on how we're feeling and what time it is because we didn't even start this trail till what no yeah 12 o'clock so we'll see if we do anything else but We'll let you know. <laughs> See you guys later. See you guys. Well guys, we are at the end of the trail. It is just directly in front of us. We'll be at, at our car. So today that wraps it up. is done. Yeah, we're not going to do anything else today. It's, what time is it? What did I say? Oh, I don't know. You have to hit both buttons. 3.45. 3.45, guys. So um, if we did the other small little thing that we were going to do, which was um, Grapeyard Ridge to the campsite and back, it would be another 6.6 .6 miles. And by the time we drive to the trailhead, if there's parking, because we drove past it first, there were too many people there so we wouldn't have been able to park so it probably we wouldn't probably get done till like seven o'clock and we're not feeling like 
getting done at seven. It'll be dark. Yeah, it was a nice little trail up here though. We took our time and it was fun. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Glad we came out. I, we sat by that uh, bridge in the water for a while. It's so nice. I miss this, guys. I miss this so much. So I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We've got a lot of talking tonight. Yeah, we'll figure that out. <laughs> yeah, and so we'll let you know in the morning. So you guys have a good one. See you guys. Bye. Good night. Today we did Porter's Creek Trail all the way to Campsite 31. And then we came back.